And starting it off right here in the blue corner, with a record of 1-0, and oh, that's right, undefeated in the ring for Team Fozzie Drysdale from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Joseph Viola! <laughs> and his opponent in the red corner, he has, today is his first time in the ring here at Tough Enough. It is his debut fighting for LA Boxing from Las Vegas, Nevada, it is Ramson Mirza. At Tough Enough in the amateur ranks, we are going three two-minute rounds. Something about two-minute rounds, if you've never seen amateur fights before, they go by very quickly, not a lot of room for air. If you get taken to the ground by your opponent, generally it's going to take you about 90 seconds to find a way out and scramble back to your feet. So look for takedowns, especially from Joseph Viola. If he wants to fight the ground game, all he has to do is figure out how to get his opponent there, tie him up, and he can win this fight. Absolutely. Both fighters admitted they know little about each other, so I'm excited to see what happens. Actually, if you look at their uh, their fighter profiles, when asked what they know about their opponent, they both list nothing, <laughs> and that's what's interesting with amateurs. You know, you don't have, you don't have a bunch of game film to study. As a result, you, you're stepping in there fighting a ghost in many ways. You know, you look into their eyes, and Ramson really had that focus as he came out there and and caught up with Joseph. We'll see what happens here. And you see Joseph very interested in the takedown right away. Ramson doing a nice job defending it. Sprawling out right really well against the ropes. Not as easy as when you're fighting in a cage to, to sprawl out that way and use the ropes to, to hold you up. Yeah, it really becomes a different balance game when you're fighting in a cage as opposed to fighting in a ring. The ring obviously makes it very enjoyable for spectators, especially ones that are here live, to be able to see the fight accurately. Uh, but it, it presents a whole different set of challenges. And right there you see Joseph does a nice job eventually working until he gets the takedown. He did a great job switching to the single leg, spinning him off, and dragging him to the mat. And as you said, we're already a minute into the round. He's setting up on top. He's in a great dominant position here. Yeah, side side control. control there. He's got the knee to belly. See where he goes from here. Once again, look for that Robert Drysdale jiu-jitsu. It looks like he's searching for that mount. Yeah, really trying to slide that right leg over and get the full mount. And there he's got does it. Does it very easily. Now we'll see what kind of defense Ramson has, that mount defense. How key is that? Well, yeah. It's so hard to have a good defense in mount, you know. I mean, when somebody gets to that position, you're already, you already have your back against the wall. And right here you see Joseph is transitioning a little bit, and he's caught up on the side hanging off a little bit. He's not really sure whether or not he's taking the back or trying to get back to that mount. Yeah, if he could slide over like he's doing right now, kick yeah. the right leg back under, now nice. he'll be searching for the rear naked choke. Yeah, he's flattening him out a little bit. 20 seconds left on the clock in round number one, so coming down to the bell here. And once again, the two-minute round makes it difficult if you are a jiu-jitsu practitioner to set up your submissions if your opponent's good at defending the takedown, which is what we saw Ramson do here early in the first round. That may save him. Nice reversal. Very nice sweep right there. Spun in and rolled to the top. Headed to the second round, Joseph Viola, Ramson Mercer. Two Las Vegas boys, Joseph has one win on his record. Ramson making his debut tonight. Your thoughts on round number one. What does Ramson need to do differently so he can set up his, his game and fight his fight? Well, you know, he did a good job defending once he got in a bad position. He did a great job of controlling the arms, not allowing the choke to come in, but he's got to defend this. He did a great job of sprawling out on the double leg, but as soon as he switched to the single leg, he was sucked down to the mat and just couldn't recover from there. So he's, he's really got to get aggressive, I think, on the feet to start with and not, not find himself back in that position. I think if the Ola just continues what he did in round one, he's looking good. Yeah, if you continue applying that pressure, especially when you really own your opponent like that in the first round, you had him up against the ropes, and he was the entire time trying to defend. He was never able to mount any sort of offense. It really starts to wear on your opponent, especially somebody making their debut. They're going, hold on, did all of these things that I that I worked on in the gym, does any of it actually pay off? Yeah, you have to be doubting yourself in the corner. You're ready, you're pumped up, you're fired up, and then you, you have zero seconds of offense in your first amateur round. And round one in the books, you know that he doesn't have those jitters any longer. Ramson still looks light on his feet, though. I like it. And he's standing in the pocket and trading with him. Joseph closes the distance again right away, and we see a repeat of round one just on the other side of the ring. Once again, good pressure on the ropes. Good job by Joseph Viola. And again, he switches out to the single leg and drags him to the mat. Running out of room in that corner. 
Yeah, and Ramsey really trying to scramble back to his feet right now. But you see Joseph is constantly looking for that submission. And right here. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's got, got the guillotine choke in. It's pretty deep, too. You see the uh, the circulation being cut off on the back of Ramsey's neck. You know, what he, you know, to seal this off, he could try to pull guard and fall backwards to get a little bit more pressure on there. But again, he would obviously be giving up the dominant position at that time also. So I think he's doing a good job. But if he can't get the, the submission in here, at least he's controlling the position over in the corner. Only a minute left in round number two. I was going to say the officials is... Uh, in, in this sort of amateur fight, they'll always err on side of caution. Oh, absolutely. Really with, with amateur fighters, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be cautious. You've got to be careful. You know, these guys aren't making a bunch of money. They eventually all want to go pro, or at least most of them want to go pro. So you've got to make sure that these fighters are being taken extra good care of. And right now, we're seeing that uh, Joseph has done a nice job again of taking the back of Ramsey Mursa. Yeah, he's got both hooks in. He's a little bit off to the side, and and we see Mursa doing a good job of controlling the left arm there. You see the two on one that we always talk about. He's got two hands on the one hand, and that's going to prevent the rear naked choke. But again, he's still in a horrible, horrible position with Joseph on his back. Yeah, and you see that you just sort of have to take the punishment. Oh, look at this. There you go. This could be the end of the fight. About 15 seconds left. He may be able to hang on, but Joseph has got this in deep. That's that Drysdale Jiu-Jitsu. We heard the clapper. Less than 10 seconds left. It's getting deeper. He's trying to fight it off. Two on one. I think he might fight it off. His head is moving in there. Nicely done by Ramson Mursa. Great survival. Go to a third and final round. It's once again got to wear on you a little bit knowing that you weren't able to mount an offensive attack, but being able to fight off what ended up being a pretty deep choke there in the last final seconds. It's got to be a bit of a confidence boost. You know, I guess if you're into moral victories, it's great. But you're now down two rounds to none. Uh, you basically have exchanged on the feet for all of five seconds. He's going to have to press. And you see here, once again, Joseph has the back, and this is where he, he flipped over and really was able to sink in the choke. And you see that the choke wasn't really deep at the beginning of it. Ramsden was once again doing a jo good job of applying some of the basics, trying to keep him from fully locking it up, going for the two-on-one, and uh, Joseph wasn't able to get it deeper until about right there. You can really see the struggle on Joseph's face as he was cranking that submission. Final seconds of round two. And like you said, John, moral victories don't mean anything on paper. At the end of the day, you come here to win. So I imagine that Ramsden's going to come out, and he is going to try to swing for the fences. You've got to. You've got two minutes left. You have to. You, you, you haven't shown that you can get the dominant position on the ground, so you really don't want to let it go there. Uh, Joseph has shown some great takedown attacks, so I think you just got to swing for the fences from the opening bell. Third and final round, Joseph Viola, Ramsden Mursa. Once again, two Las Vegas boys going to war. Ramson making his debut tonight. He's in the tan trunks. Joseph in the red and black. He's got one win on his record. He is 1-0. You know, it's interesting. Uh, Ramson looked back at his corner right before the bell sounded for this third round. And, like, any, any last suggestions? My suggestion would be to go ahead and let that right hand go. <laughs> you, you've got to do something at this point. You've got to press. And again, he's backing up. He's allowing Joseph to, to be the attacker and the aggressor. And that's what's gotten him in trouble the first two rounds. Oh, he caught him with a big right. And, a knee. and then a knee. Followed up. But you can tell he's looking for that big right hand. And I think Joseph identified that, too. He wasn't trying to set it up at all with the jab. And look how quickly Joseph was already advanced Immediately to the mount. And Joseph has just dominated Ramsden in this uh, debut fight for him. Uh, you can just tell a, a higher pedigree a little bit on Joseph's part. He's done such a nice job looking for his openings, not being spastic, not trying to force the action, just slowly setting it up and getting there every yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you like the takedown. Sometimes with the jiu-jitsu practitioners, they don't necessarily have the best takedown attack. They, they do great on the ground if they can get it there, but he's done a great job of getting it to the ground in all three rounds. You know, we mentioned these uh, Ramson ma making his debut here. This guy's in his 30s. It's over. And yeah. that is the end, ladies and gentlemen. Chris, as you pointed out, you've got to be extra careful when they're amateur fighters. The referee is not going to let a fighter take a lot of punishment. And you saw there that Joseph had flattened out Ramson. There was no point in letting him continue to get peppered on the top and the back of the head. It's a good stoppage. For three yeah. rounds, he hasn't shown the ability to get out of that position. So when the punches are being unleashed, you're absorbing damage. Go ahead and call it then. Excellent job by Joseph Viola. Another win for the Fosse Drysdale camp. Very well played. These are the final seconds of the fight here as Joseph takes it to the ground. That was the right, big right the hand. The right hand and the knee was, was solid, but again, he exposed himself, and Joseph just shot in, and this time does get the double leg. 
And this is the beginning of the end. And you can tell a little bit that Ramson just kind of gave up a little bit there. I mean, Joseph went to the full mound, and this is the position that he'd been in all three rounds, and he started to get peppered. He got flipped over, and he fought it off here for a while. And then as Joseph was able to flatten him back out and just started to rain down the punches, he wasn't even really making a lot of an attempt to block him. And, you know, sometimes you just have to concede. If you've lost a fight, you've lost a fight. And you never like to see a fighter give up. But at the same time, the referee is there for that exact purpose. If he sees him taking damage unnecessarily, it's time to just call it. Right here he's just getting peppered not really doing anything to defend himself the referee referee steps in and calls it ladies and gentlemen in the third round of one minute 20 seconds the winner and still undefeated by tko joseph Viola!